Chapter 30 He dragged me to the door. He stopped and reached the pocket to his lab coat, reached for the control unit to open the door. I saw my chance. He had me only in one hand. With a burst of strength, I pulled away, and I, he let out a cry. You read both hands at me, missed. I ran to the other side of the lab and turned into the wall to face him. He had a strange smile on his face. Dana, there is nowhere to run, he said softly. My eyes flashed around the room. I don't know what I was searching for, but I had seen it all. And I knew that he was, he was telling the truth. Dr. Gray stood blocking the only door. The long window was too heavy and thick to break through. And it didn't open. And there were no other windows. No other doors. No ways to escape. What are you going to do now, Dana? Dr. Gray asked softly. With a strange smile stuck in his face, his blue eyes locked coldly on mine. Where are you going to go? I opened my mouth to reply, but I had nothing to say. I'll tell you what's going to happen, Dr. Gray said, so said softly, calmly. You're going to stay here in the cold, cold room. And I'm going to leave you here now and make sure you're locked in. His smile grew wider. And then you will do what uh, will do what I am going to do, do you? What? I choked out. I'm going to make it colder in here. I'm going to make it colder than a freezer. No, I protested. His smile faded. I trusted you, Dana. I trusted you when you broke that trust. You let them touch you. You let them form this carpet. You let them ruin them, Dana. You ruined my egg monsters. I, I didn't do anything, I stammered. I balled my hands into fists. I felt so helpless, it's helpless and afraid. You can't freeze me in here, I cried. I didn't do anything. You can't leave me here to freeze. Of course I can, Dr. Gray replied coldly. This is my lab. This is a my own little world. I could do whatever I want. He re he pulled out a little black remote from his lab coat to pocket. He pointed at the door and pushed a button. The door swung open. He started to leave. Goodbye, Dana, he called.